Joe Duarte started his fighting career back in 1999 at the Purebred Gym after seeing Big John Cabo in action in one of Guam's first mixed martial arts fights. When he turned 18, he moved to the States and joined the Army. After serving his term and two tours in Iraq, Duarte moved to California with $500 in his pocket and a desire to fight. His fighting nature put him in the middle of top names and grabbed the attention of the ultimate fighting father, Dana White. The craziest call I got. <laughs> it taught me a life lesson, more or less. You know, my whole life changed because of that show. And um, in a good way, um, I learned that, um, that what I needed to do to make, to make it to that next level. And also I've made, I made friends and connections in places where I never even thought I'd be, you know? I mean, the UFC is the biggest organization in the world. And, uh, you know, for me to be the first guy from Guam to ever do it makes me proud because um, I know that in a way I open up gates for everybody else and hopefully somebody passes me up soon, you know? That one risk and hard work is seeming to pay off. And anyone who is willing to lay it on the line and be devoted and dedicated to his craft will be rewarded. Physically, we're more, we're, we're just, we're just specimens compared to every other, you know, I mean, we're just physical specimens, man. That's what it comes down to. I mean, I trained with guys here, like, just recently, and I see some of the most gifted athletes, like, physically, man, it's just, it's, it's insane. And I think that if they're willing, it's easy to be a big fish in this small pond. But if you're willing to be a guppy in an ocean, then take the chance to go there in the States and make it. Heading into the Ultimate Fighter season, rumors circulated that Dana White said he found the next best pound-for-pound -pound fighter, and Joe was the one he was talking about. He said that during the training, so it was... He said that when we first got there, because we all started training, and then Felipe started running through guys, and he started saying, well, Felipe was the next... The guy that I fought was the next Anderson Silva. Duarte knows that going into the Ultimate Fighter was a great thing. Win or lose. Philippe beating me and then going to the finals kind of it kind of hurts, you know, because I, I see that like, man, if I only did things right, I would have been me fighting in the finals, you know. But at the same time, it's like I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have stepped my training up like I did now. I wouldn't have changed my life for I would have still been on the same old training program, and I, I you know, if things wouldn't affect me. So in a way, everything happens for a reason. And in the coming years, you might find yourself in a Joe Duarte gym.